We're back for a new edition of the treasure box. This is edition 13 already. Can you believe it? For this box, I've chosen a really special theme that has been highly requested, Cabinet of Curiosities. This is an exciting box because I'm releasing a unique handmade wooden product for the first time. Let's dive in right away with one of my favorite products inside this box, the Cabinet of Curiosities sticker book. This is a special Cora Crea Crafts product with 10 full pages of stickers on transparent papers. Every page is full of these mysterious items, bottles and jars and specimens you might find in a cabinet of curiosities. You'll even find large labels and full page cabinet stickers. Next, you will receive a beautiful pack of ephemera. This pack includes 45 pieces total with a variety of papers coming in different materials like vellum and cardstock and different sizes. This pack also follows a theme of mystery and odd bits and pieces that will work great with the rest of the box. This is a wooden stamp and it comes in a cute box like this. This designer stamp has this special shape with the little handle coming out, making it extra easy to stamp. The stamp design is of a beautiful seashell, a black whelk or a dimerex to be specific, and I just thought it was perfect for this box. Let me show you how beautiful it looks once it's stamped. Continuing on with another stamp. As you can see here, this stamp is larger than the clear stamp size I usually make. This is also one of my own designs and it comes in a beautiful paper envelope that you can reuse for crafting. This stamp sheet actually includes 25 individual stamps. From sea life to plants and skeletons, these are definitely Cabinet of Curiosities material. But my favorite part about this stamp sheet is that all the parts are completely separate, meaning that you can use each of the little cabinet frames on their own, as well as each of the items inside, and rearrange them as you wish. Now let's talk about the highlight of this box. This is the highlight for me not only because it's the larger and most valuable piece of this treasure box, but also because it's the first wooden design I create. It took a lot of time and back and forth to achieve the final look, from the size of the cabinet and each piece inside, to the positioning of the wooden shelves, the windows and the drawers, but also the final color. I wanted to go for a distressed, a bit aged look, so each piece is slightly different and includes little imperfections, both because of the finish and because it is fully handmade. So here's just an example of how the mini cabinet of curiosities looks like when it's filled. Despite being small, it's 25 by 20 centimeters, you can still fit a lot in there. I filled mine with wooden stamps, washi tapes, clips, ink bottles and mini journals, and mini ink pads in one of the drawers, and some brass clips in the other drawer. Overall, it's a beautiful piece to decorate your desk. It's a really special look whether you decide to leave the doors open or closed, and it's also a useful tool to organize your small crafting items. There are a few other pieces coming in the box, such as these mini brass clips. These work really well to keep mini journals open, but also to decorate small crafting projects. Something else you will get is this set of large bottle stickers. These are transparent and so you can create your own kind of specimen jars with them. We've reached the end of this preview video for the Treasure Box Edition 13. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to visit CoraCreaCrafts.com to learn more about this box and to get your order in.